I'm a bastard bloke, we got tropical pineapple chocolate What up to evil bass is a jackalope You want a half a coat with a cast of boat Yeah, I got quite a got one has to tote Go ahead, rookie, call your plastic boat Chase the habits fast for you, grab a smoke Confess, no joke, more like all she wrote Drop the beat, pause a note Jasper's here, well that's awesome dope I'm Only here to tell you that it's all a hoax Unlike Mach 1, lots of guns, so lots of fun Probably at a strip club, not spinning a one Wanna play a game, well this is how it's done Creativity is our only freedom we can't dream schemes if we can't even peep them 2013 and catch me on the weekends Licking for something to see my teeth in Need to eat the flesh Cannibalistic priest if easy mess You be stay fresh I'm from Little Rock where the river divides Loyalty seems so hard to come by Cause river is coincide Another guy decides on homicide Kids get high on both sides I'll let my head decide Reconsider my design Shots of liquor provide a way to pry lies I'm forbidden between Glassy cat eyes Thighs I despise you guys I got a repetitive set of fists That'll settle this Setting my hands on a set of tits Man it's like a set of it. Negative, you know that I'm better kid, taste my pair of cakes, they're too delicious. I got a jackal inside my brain. It makes me laugh when it calls you names. I think it's all fake, I think it's all vaccines, I think it's all ain't. It's just a bad dream. It's just a bad dream. Lay down on your stomach! Lay down on your stomach! 
Lay down on your stomach! Lay down on your stomach, I'm he's not I'm trying to get on my stomach, Tony. Let him go! I mean, I'm not, I'm not no, doing he's not. He fled. Y'all shut up! Hey, you might dude. You put your hands behind hey, your back. Hey, it's 1v3. Hey, I'm going to make hey, it hey, real quick. I don't know what's going on, man. Get my camera. Get, hey. get your camera. Hey, I'm on too. Put your hands behind your back. Your other hand! Put it behind your back! Yeah, he's jamming his gun in my back, man. It's a taser, you dumbass. You can hit me with it. Put your other hand behind your back. He can't be in there like that. I can't. Yes, you can. I got no condition. No, I can't. Dude, you are being absolutely I stupid. God, Look, right now. Listen to me. I, still don't, I swear to God, hurting. my guy, I cannot be my arm like this. You're hurting him. Should have stopped a long time ago. I didn't know you. I yeah, know you that's against the law. Make sure it's in HD there, dumbass. I didn't know you was behind me. Put your other hand. Put your other hand behind your back, man. Just rotate your shoulder. Please calm down. I am calm. I'm doing my job. You're not calm, man. Please. Man, please. Ah, man, don't do that. Let go of your stuff. Just let, go let, of it. let it go. Man. Ah, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. What? Send, the, send the truck off. Get my money. Come on, man. God damn. Come on, man. Hey. Come on. Let me some side or some shit. Fuck. Come on. You have any weapons on you? No, I ain't got nothing, man. Man, I was just trying to get the fucking truck. I yeah, you're on your rest ah, now. Ah, Dude, I didn't see you behind me, man. Step back. You can't be. You can video. You can't be this close. Get over there. Get away from me. Get away from me. No, you're not gonna be that close. I don't care if you video. You're not gonna be that close. Mothman. No, you cannot go in that truck. You go in that truck, you're going to jail too. Mothman. Mothman. Let me talk to that. Hold on, hold on. Sit, up, hold on. sit up on your butt. Hey, bring sit me, up on your butt. To my knee. Sit up on your butt. I'm going to help you. On my other side, please. Other side. I got. I got to have. I have a bad right side. Hey. One, 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 one. That yes. yes. One, two, three. Oh, stop talking, dude. You're going to jail. Let's go. You wouldn't have if you just stopped. Man, look, no, I you think you're in charge. You're not in charge out here. Max 1011, Arkansas tab. 674XZZ. 674XZZ. It's a gray silver rider. I mean, I know I'm not in charge. I know I'm not in charge. Have a seat, dude. Man, you've been bullying me. The you've been in the car. You've been bullying me. Sit down. Hey. Put your feet in the what car. What the hell do I do, man? What the fuck do I do? Because he won't get in the car. I don't get out of here. That's for real. Man, come on. He just ran. Yeah. Simple. Can I turn his truck off now? And he's my boyfriend. That don't matter. I don't I don't care if it don't matter. Thanks. He was just involved in pursuit. Okay, this is mommy's so, Hate that for her. We are telling we're, we're, we're telling everything in the truck. I've got food in there and stuff. I, I hate that for you. You can't be right here. I'm going through this truck. You can't come back through that door. That's fine. You can open that door. I'm just saying, like, get away from me. I'm not here. That was one of them. That's the truck is the truth. I didn't do that. It's you. Hey, so. Pretty much. He called me a dumbass. I don't hey, know how many times. I've done nothing to him. Hey, listen. So pretty much. I understand. I, 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 I'm just trying to communicate with you, okay? I'm not mad at you. I'm Trooper Little. It's nice to meet you. Your boyfriend just failed to stop and he got in, in, in a pursuit with Trooper Duncan here, okay? I understand that. So he was just trying to get the truck home to me. I'm. Um, he had my dinner. I wish he just stopped. I understand. Well, that's he a, doesn't have a license. He was scared. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's not a reason to run. No, it's not. No, I, I agree with you 5,000%. Okay. I got you. So, pretty much, we are towing. To, okay, is this. We, we, we are, have to tow it? He was just involved in pursuit. We're towing the truck and everything inside. I mean, my, can I not get my dinner or nothing like that? We will document what's in the vehicle. But what about my dinner? You might be eating something it's different. Toilet paper. 
All right, so, so, so just sit tight back there and just, just give us some space real quick, and I'll try to get your dinner out the truck, okay? I mean, you got all my stuff in there. Um, I just moved in over here. So. I got you. Well, um. <clears throat> you can clear that out a little bit. I'm 10 <laughs> Oh, man. Will you put this in Jeb's car, please? Or, or at Jeb's car? Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you in a second. I'm trying to make sure I got my, my, my What'd you say? I'm trying to make sure I got my stuff. Like my I'll wallet. get your stuff. I'm going to get your wallet. Yeah. That's your phone. Can I not leave it with her? Can I leave my wallet? If you want me to, I'll leave it with her. Is that what you want me to do? Yeah, I want to count my money, bro. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, man. I, I, I just want you to get that know what you're doing. Can I, can, I, can I tell her to pick my daughter up in school tomorrow? Yeah, I'll let you talk to her in a second. I mean, I ain't mean to bother me. I was trying to get the truck to the house, but I didn't see you behind me at first. I swear to God, I didn't. All right, don't talk. You better have to come to Jesus, man, real quick. I threw my lights on because you were all over the road and almost hit the concrete wall. As soon as we took the interstate, you saw me then. We turned right. Yes, you did. You stuck your arm and face. Stop talking, dude. That's what pisses me off is you interrupting me like that. You saw me. That's why I knew you were a black male wearing a red hoodie with a black do rag. Because you hung out in the car and was like, hey, bro, I see you. Let me go. Da 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 da. Keep driving. Because I'm trying to get home like every other person does here in Little Rock. You should be able to I do what you say. I was trying to get home. I'm not like every other person in Little Rock. I do what you're saying. You tried to get home. You can't do that. That's against the law. You're supposed to stop when we turn our stuff on in a safe location. You didn't do that. You got here. And then you wanted to try to have a freaking conversation with me over there while I'm trying to tell you to get on the ground. There's three of y'all, two people that I don't know jump out of this freaking truck. You want to turn around and face me after I tell you to get on the ground. You think I want to be friends with you out now? No, I don't want to be friends with you. Stop talking! When I'm giving you commands trying to do my job out there and tell you to get on the ground and you want to turn around and act like it's some BS games and try to have a conversation with me, that's not the time. Then you got your friends or family over here that want a video. That's fine. They don't need to be within arm's length of me while I'm trying to do my job. That makes me feel unsafe. I got one dude that's non-compliant that has just ran, whether it's felony or misdemeanor fling, you just ran. And then I got those two people that are trying to intervene. That's the wrong time and place for them to intervene, too. I'm going to talk to them, too. I ain't afraid of nobody out here. I'm trying to do a job, and I'm trying to do my job safely, and y'all are making it really hard to do that. And you're also making it really hard for me to respect any of y'all out here because you're being disrespectful. I was going to stop you, make sure you're sober. I don't give a crap if your driver's license is suspended or something like that, or the tags aren't good, or you ain't got any insurance. I'll let you go home. But you wanted to keep driving and go home like you have that right, and you don't. I'd have cut you loose. But that's not the route you chose. So while we're on the way to the jail, you can sit back there and go, damn, I have this up. I could have just stopped and I'd have been home. Westbound, North Carolina, Robert, Charles, Lincoln, 9720, RTL 9720, uh, Nathan, I was really, yes, when I did see my hand out the window, yes, I did see you in, but I'm not from this area over here, North Park, and I had a little bad, little running with the police, somewhat recently, um, but I was trying to get the truck home, so we could be home, so I didn't probably want to get an impound or a pole or whatever, so my dad's truck, he died, it's, my mom's not letting me use it, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take my daughter back to the school to work. And, um, I, I mean, I didn't really mean for nothing to say, I'm honestly. Now, I'm not under the influence, I'm not drunk, I'm not none of that shit. But I have bad eyesight, man. We just know I was swerving and shit. That's it. Bad eyesight. You know, I am fucked up on the right side. I thought I was fucking with them. You wouldn't be in handcuffs if you didn't choose this right. I understand that. I understand that. Who that dude? I really was trying to run from it. I'll make sure we got your wallet. I got your phone. Yes, yes, yeah, my money. You, want, you want her to have your wallet? Yeah. Uh, I need to her too. Did you pick up his wallet? Ma'am. You got his wallet? 
He wants you to keep that. You see, uh, money, you know, I used to care about my, my daughter. You want to come talk to him? He wants to talk to you about his daughter. You don't bother me. Not now. Uh, it's about Friday. It's the following Friday. Um, it's not going to do here. Danielle, uh, he's going to ride my food. Um, they have to have money. Also, tomorrow, uh, test me at 4. He's out of school at 3.30. Uh, tell me, though, you know how to call him uh, next year tonight. And tell me let me know what's going on. I'm a mom, let him know. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you just give up, you just give up money. Give me money, okay? And, um, how much was it? I just wrote the hundred on the rally. So, just plus a couple more ones and then, I told you. Because your actions and how their, their actions, I get it. Yeah, you are. I'll have a conversation with you in a minute, just like I did. With him. Yep. Just doing my job here. Next time stuff like this happens, I would choose different options. They won't let me get my food or anything out of it. Nope, nothing. Everything stays in it. I can't have my food. Maybe I'll have a change of heart. I don't know. Yeah, We're not all on good terms right now. Also, don't think I'm saying anything I wouldn't say. We record everything, so I ain't saying nothing I'm ashamed to say. Watch the lead, man. Hey, call I love you. Call him Bobby. Love you, too. I'll call him. So now our conversation. You can video anything that you want. Understand that. I'll never tell someone they can't video. You have that right. But let me talk to her. I got a job to do. I tried to stop him because he almost crashed. I'm making sure he ain't drunk and that he don't hurt no innocent family or kill nobody or himself. If you saw how this video started, make sure when you post that video on social media, make sure, no, hang on, hear me out. Make sure before you post that video on social media and you put your commentary on there that you get the whole video and you watch it from start to finish and then you can put your commentary on there, okay? He almost hit a concrete wall at interstate speeds because he left interstate 40 and almost hit the concrete wall on interstate 30. He went from the far left lane to the right shoulder. So I stopped him to make sure that he was okay. He hung his body out of the vehicle and was like, I'm not stopping, I'm gonna keep driving. And we drove all the way from Interstate 30 down here, through stop signs, through intersections and everything like that, never checked up. Then he got out, he got out of the vehicle, right? Did he get on the ground? No, he didn't. He walked to the front of his pickup truck and started trying to have a conversation with both of you. Who then, I don't know who you guys are and y'all wanna jump out of the truck and start hooping and hollering too. So now I got three people that I don't know who they are, or if they're armed, what their intentions are, and it's just me. And I'm in somebody's yard. You think that's the safest place for me? There's a reason we don't like stopping people at their house or them driving home, because that's not good terms to be on. I don't know what y'all's intentions are, right? So then I tell him to get on the ground. He wants to turn around and face me. Is that him getting on the ground? Is he complying? No, he's not. Then I got you guys while I've got him laying down on the stomach trying to put him in handcuffs. We're almost this close, not this close, I'm not going to lie, but we're pretty dang close. They're standing over the top of me videoing me. Am I vulnerable? Do I know what your intentions are? Do I know if you've got a gun or a knife in that hoodie or you? No, I don't. So that's why we act that way, because we're trying to control the scene and make sure nobody gets hurt. I don't care if you video. I do not. Don't be up in our grills doing it, though, okay? It's unsafe. It's unsafe for you, too, because we don't know what your intentions are. And we're trying to get him taken care of, okay? Does that make sense? For both of you guys. I know you guys are concerned he's family or friends to you guys. Well, like I said, family or friends. So you have good intentions for him, but let me do my job. And if you guys got questions afterwards, or you want to try to work something out, or ask me not to tow the vehicle, we can do it afterwards. Does that make sense? Tony, 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 come get me out of jail tonight. Come get me out of jail. Let me run the tag and see everything. See everything. Hey. Huh? 
I guess the uh, camp is a pretty good part. Hey! Tony! Hang on, quit okay. yelling. Who has your headphone case? Uh, I had a headphone case in the back of the earlier. I didn't get a chance to tell you that I had my headphone case. I just want to make sure that someone got him. He got him something. What's your last name? Dennis. Dennis? Dennis. What's your first name? Richard? Richard. What's your date of birth? 1981. My beat. Where's the headphones at? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I listened here earlier today. Um, You're wanting them? Is that what? No, I'm gonna see. That one will be lost. Where you got this? You gonna go? But tell her that if she's got food in there, her items like that, she can get those out and uh, and, and take those inside. The truck's getting towed. Yeah. But uh, that she can get food or or whatever she needs to out of it. Okay. What, no uh... Is that the one? They want coming? No. It, your headphones. Listen. It, simple question. Are you wanting them to come with you? No. Where are they at? I don't know. So, are you asking her to just find them and hang on to them? Yes. Okay. Go ask her. He said that he's got a set of nice headphones, like Beats or something here. Okay. He doesn't know where they're at. She wants him... I'm sorry. He wants her to find them, though. Okay. And... Just go ahead and take them aside or whatever. Yeah, hang on to them. Don't lose them because they're worth money. All right. Okay. No problem. I can say that she can't get anything out of them. You want me to do that? You're saying ball spin. Yeah, I'm, the, the truck's getting towed, dude. You're, you're, hang on. Our policy even says because you're driving on suspended. And then we chose this route, so it is. I'm being nice and letting y'all get y'all's food and necessities out of there. I didn't have to do that. Okay? See what? I, I told those guys to let her get what she wants out of it. Okay. And we'll go from there, okay? Right now. <laughs> you'll, you'll probably be kicked out the door pretty quick though, because it's it's not felony fling, it's misdemeanor fling, so you'll probably get kicked out the door pretty quick, man. I mean, I ain't, I ain't never ran to the police no big or formal life. I, I wasn't trying to then. But, you know, I, and I understand where you're coming from with that, though. If you don't know what's going on when you jump on the team. I don't know what they were doing. with her. Uh, 
Driving down, driving down like I just hit say boom. And uh I don't know. I'm mean, down to that quick. So you're driving fast and you're not supposed to be. Uh you get behind somebody who slowed down to try to let you go, pass him, and you don't pass him. Uh okay, you, you don't pass him, but you stay behind him, but, it, but like, you stay right on them. Eventually, about a mile down the road or so, about a mile, is you pass them. And you, I guess it, you position yourself to where you kind of want to pull this car over, but you don't know if you want to pull the car over. Uh, what, what would be a good reason to pull the car over? Ask, ask, ask the question again. Like, how to put, okay. say, say, say it again. Say, you're, you're, you're driving fast down, you're driving fast down uh, it's a county road. Um, the vehicle in front of you is not showing any signs of anything except for they're getting over to let you pass by. They don't know you, they don't know you're a cop. They're just trying to let the car behind them go past. And uh, you don't pass them, you stay behind them about, stay about two miles. And then you pass them, position yourself to get ready to pull them over. What would be a good reason to pull that car over? If you're going to initially have, I know it's kind of messed up the question. And I imagine, I, I might go ahead and ask it. I'm going to ask the question. Uh, I was driving down 161 one day, and a black scanning sheriff. I mean, he was going at a high rate of speed, man. High rate of speed. And uh, I just got off the interstate. Uh, I'm trying to pass the, I'm trying to pass the car by, like actually passing by. Uh, then the passing by, I didn't got over to the side of the road. I'm waving him off, waving him off, and he stayed back there for at least, at least a good mile and a half, two miles. And uh, when I just found that it was cop, I'm like, I stopped in the middle of the road. You know what I'm saying? And trying to pass him by, pass him by. Well, he's he sped up. Uh, he passes me, he speeds up, speeds up, and he drives out of sight. And he positions himself where I couldn't go to Sherwood, but I could go to North Little Rock. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then, I think, as soon as, soon as my nose hit his front end, he pulled me over. to follow, but I, I mean, I'm not sure. I guess I, I just have to be there. I, I'm, I'm sure it makes sense to you because you were there, but I wasn't, so I'm trying to piece it together. That's not a... Okay. I guess, so I guess you got, I guess that happened to you is what you're saying? Yeah, it happened to me. Yeah, well, uh, what was the end result of that? I said you couldn't see my license plate. No, 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 like how did, like, like, did you get in trouble? Did you get... I remember what you did for a little bit, driving on the, uh, driving off the street, and, uh, basically, he pulled the case, driving off the street, and, um, uh, I'm not the right vehicle for a vehicle, for some reason, we don't, we don't, we don't say anything. I mean, we did bought the vehicle, you know, Carl I know that drive, but, uh, the owner knows that drive, uh, we did pay on it, the cash is good, they're still paper tags, but they were 
rich, rich, rich and clean, no, no more shit, you know what I'm saying? You can see them just fine. Black Canada had new headlights in their vehicle. My question was, because they said they couldn't see my tags. Why couldn't you see my tags, though? Especially when you were behind me, as long as you were behind me, as close as you were, why couldn't you see my tags? And when did you have to uh, even have a chance to look at them? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, uh, I got you. did you already go to court on it and stuff? Uh, I'm, I'm going to court on it. This is weird. This is weird. I know. I mean, I know that um. I mean, I know the tags. The tags were fine. I can't say that he had a bogus suit while he pulled me over, but your tags were fine tonight. So is your insurance. Yeah. All you have to do is freaking stop, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying, just trying to get it out of the Really stupid on my poor office. I was trying to get it out of the Yeah, that, that's... I mean, I'm I'm not beating it head or something. There's no other way to describe it. It's stupid. All you got to do is stop and either accept the fact that you're driving on suspended, so I need to either expect a warning or a ticket and be done with it. You're the one that chose to drove on, drive on, yes. driving on a uh, suspended license, not me. I know. And and it's up to us to decide if we need to either write you a ticket or a warning if the vehicle needs to be towed or whatnot. And your vehicle is valid. All that stuff's valid. North Little Rock, I'll write down the address and stuff for you. it's the same cleaning yeah i'm sure it's the same cleaning crew but man i don't know anything about those other lots but I, i've never seen anybody here at, there at this time at any of those lots i mean it's worth it, it, it's obviously worth having somebody but yeah no i don't think so the, no the only dudes i know are those the uh black tundra that did the cleaning. I I But like hey on for real for real you think I'm BSing you I'm not you're you're probably not gonna you're I wouldn't think that you stay in here tonight. They're they're probably gonna they're, they're probably gonna book you and ask you if you got somebody that can come pick you up and send you out the door. They they don't have the they don't have the, you still have to be booked, but they don't have the capabilities or availability right now, nor do they want to use a slot in the jail to hold somebody on some misdemeanor stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I bet you get in here and they're, I, I bet before you're even booked, they are co coordinate asking if you've got somebody that can come pick you up if you get released. I mean, obviously you do, I'm just saying. Keep that in mind, as long as you don't, uh, uh, which I don't think you will, obviously. It, as long as you don't do nothing silly or anything like that or make somebody mad, you'll probably get booted out of here.
You made me sweat, and it's 47 degrees outside. How are y'all? Y'all doing all right? Okay, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm, I'm about to take them off of you. I believe you. You still got it going on them though. I'll tell you what I'm going to do because we got to sit out here and knock some paperwork out before we go inside. But I'm going to take those cups off of you and I'm going to let you sit back there like a normal person, alright? all your stuff. Make sure I didn't miss nothing, da 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 da. And then I'll take those cups off of you and leave them off of you, okay? They're not gonna let you take that inside. Uh, a lighter. They're gonna tell you that you gotta throw it away. Tell you what, put your hands up front because they're, they're going to make you be handcuffed when you walk inside. Take this other one off and I'll put them up front, okay? I'll keep the long I get you. The lady said that I was healed. 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 I Some of them get up get out of here. Gotta do this so they don't get tighter on you. So now you can squeeze them and see how they don't get tighter on you. Uh, you can have a seat for me, we'll knock out some stuff. That's probably a lot better, ain't it? Yes, sir. Yes.